much more likely to have never married than Hispanic, white, Asian, and Asian 40-year-olds. Education level, 40-year-olds without a four-year college degree were much more likely to have never married than those who had at least completed a bachelor's degree. One third of those with a high school diploma or less had never married compared with 26% of those with some college education and 18% of those with a bachelor's degree or more education. Now the overall decrease in the share of 40-year-olds who have married is especially notable, Pew says, because the share of 40-year-olds who had completed at least a bachelor's degree was much higher. So there's more people in that position in 2021 than in 1980. That went from 18% to 39%. So that's huge. That's a big, a bigger group um, in a really powerful way. Pew does conclude their article on this new analysis with uh, some note of caution. They say, we can't assume that the media and elsewhere to say, oh, marriage, not really that important. Uh, but it is. And this is where, again, maybe some folks agree, but I think it's really important uh, to, to zoom in and realize that the, the bulk of research suggests that marriage and happiness actually are, they actually are, uh, they go together. Marriage actually is a source of great happiness for people even though you know, people have been told for a really long time that you, know, you can you find happiness outside marriage, et cetera, et cetera. That's true, um, but the research shows us that marriage is one of the best predictors of happiness and uh, also one of the best predictors of stability for children being raised in a household with two married parents, especially upward mobility. Uh, people who grow up with less money but in a, in a household with two married parents are more likely to experience upward mobility and escape the cycle of poverty. And that's another like, essential element of all of this in the class framework that, again, the right misses and the left definitely misses. This is also from the Institute of Family Studies. Quote, the story is straightforward. They're obviously pro-marriage, but taking a look at the sort of research here, they say married respondents are much happier and consistent with prior research. Parents are a little less happy than non-parents, provided they are unmarried. So parents are a little less happy than non-parents when they're unmarried. Um, and again, like this is sometimes very logical. It's really, really hard to single parent. It's really hard to deal Let with the Let me get this straight. We're more educated than ever. We're more focused on career than ever. And more of us are not getting married than ever. And yet, unhappiness and mental health issues are also worse than ever. Hmm. Could there be a correlation there? You know, the Bible does teach that we should be married. The Bible also does say, let the marriage bed be undefiled and held in honor by all. That Bible... You might not like what it says, but the results, you can't argue with them. Happiness, health, and it's better for our family and our children.